so you can now remotely access the virtual machine and do whatever you want to do on this machine so let's update the apt cache by using the team viewer Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Int YouTube channel for another interesting and worth watching video. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the remote desktop usage on our Linux Mint system. So first of all, we will see that what are the most popular freely available commercial products that can be used for this purpose. So there are two most popular commercial products for Linux Mint remote desktop experience. So number one is here going to be the team viewer. It is the most popular remote control software which we use like every day when we have to remotely control the someone's computer. And the number two commercial product for remote control desktop is no machine. It is easy to use and freely available in Debian packages. So we can download it and install it either in 32 bit or 64 bit version. All right. In this demo, I'm going to download and install TeamViewer on my Linux Mint machine because it is the most easier and popular tool for remote desktop control. And later we will see that how we can use TeamViewer to remotely access another desktop. So first of all, go to the TeamViewer official website and download the Debian package. I am downloading 64 bit package here because it is compatible with my operating system. And if you have 32-bit version of Linux Mint, then you should download 32-bit setup. Now click on it. Select the save file option and click on OK. The downloading is complete. Now let's install it. Fire up the terminal and change the directory to the downloads folder by using the command cd downloads. And now run the following command to install it sudo apt install teamviewer 15.2.2756 underscore amd 64.deb. So here should be the name of your downloaded teamviewer file. So now hit enter. The system is prompting for the password for the root user and I am entering the password here. So now press Y here to continue this installation process. The installation is complete. Now open the team viewer. Accept the license agreement. I have an other virtual machine that is running Linux Mint Cinnamon 18.3 and TeamViewer is already installed on it. So let's access and control it by using the TeamViewer. So here is the Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon virtual machine and the TeamViewer is opened here. So what I will do, I will note down the ID and the password for this TeamViewer. So I will enter the ID here on this machine where I want to access an other virtual machine. So what we have to do, we have to enter the team viewer ID here. Now press the connect button and now enter the password. So now you can see that I am accessing my virtual machine Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon version remotely on my this Linux Mint machine. So you can now remotely access the virtual machine and do whatever you want to do on this machine. So let's update the apt cache by using the team viewer. So now let's create a new file here on the remotely accessible machine. And you can see that the file is created. And if you want to terminate this remote connection, then you have to press on this cross button. All right. 
So I hope you found this video useful to know that how we can remotely access the Linux Mint desktop. So keep following us on the Linux Mint YouTube channel and do not forget to subscribe it for more useful videos about Linux. Thank you.